hey you! Yes, you who's watching this video! I'm just gonna remind you that this is part 3 of the tutorial series. If you haven't watched the other two parts yet, I'm gonna leave their links in the description box below along with other information that you might want to know about the program. With that said, let's get on with the video! Hey everyone, Siege here, back again with another video! Oh boy, part 3 of the tutorial series is finally here! Well, not quite. This video is actually part 3.1. Yes, there's a point 1. And then there's gonna be a point 2. So, for this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to rig the eyes and animate them. Yes, I'm finally gonna teach you guys how to animate with Light 2D because for some reason, this girl right here forgot to teach you that part on episode 2. Why on earth did you forget, Siege? Go to your room right now, you're grounded. Okay, I'm done scolding my pastel. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so as you can see here, I have two PSD models. Why two PSD models, Siege? Good question. Well, it's because I'm gonna teach you guys not one, but two methods on how to rig the eyes. Am I good for an ad? Anyway, for the first method, we're gonna need two pairs of eyes. One opened and one closed. There is gonna be some sort of transition in this method. Each eye has its own layer, by the way. In the open eyes, you can see that it is separated into parts. The lash, the iris, and the eye white. For the second method, we're gonna need only one pair of eyes. This is the method that I usually use. This time, each eye is separated into four parts. The top lash, the side lash, the iris, and the eye white. Now that I've shown you how the eyes should be separated, let's load them into Live 2D. Once it's loaded, you know what to do. Add art meshes in the model by using the auto mesh generator. Since we're gonna be doing the eyes, let's use the heavy deformation preset. Before we go to the blinking part, I'm gonna show you how to do the iris movement first. If you're gonna use the method of the two pairs of eyes, then turn off the visibility of the closed eyes first. Select the iris, and then go to the parameter section. Select the eyeball X parameter. Then click on the add three keyforms button. Like I said in the last episode, each keyform indicates an action. Slide the red dot to the left end of the parameter, and move the iris to the left. Same thing with the other side. Now let's do the up and down movement. Select the iris, go to the parameter section, and then select the eyeball Y parameter. Slide the red dot to the left end of the parameter, and then move the iris downward. Do the same thing for the upward movement. You can see that the iris is going past the eye white. To fix that, select the eye white and then go to the inspector palette and then you're gonna see the ID of the object. Copy the ID. Then select the iris again and then go to the inspector palette and then scroll down until you see the clipping ID. Paste the ID of the eye wipe and hit on enter. 
Now as you move the iris, it doesn't go out of the eye white anymore. You might think that we're done already, but not yet. We still have to do the other four corners. To do that, select the eyeball X parameter, and then you're gonna see something that's on the left. Click on it. Now you can see the eyeball X and Y parameters are connected. I wish everyone is connected, especially to their crush. As you move the dot around, you can see that it's only doing the up, down, and side movement. There are no movements in the four corners. Feel free to set those corners manually, but there is a way to make this easier. Make sure the iris is selected, then click on the palette menu. Then select the option Synthesize Corners. Now a dialog has appeared. Make sure that the eyeball X and Y parameters are selected. Then click on OK. Now the four corners are set. Using this option can accidentally remove the clipping mask of the iris. So just copy the ID of the eye white, then select the iris and paste it on the clipping ID. Apply the same steps to the other eye. Now let's move on to the blinking. Oh wait, I haven't moved on yet. Okay, you better stop those pull-out coach siege. Take this seriously, enough about love. We're gonna do the first method of the eye blinking. Take the lash of the eye, and then in the parameter section, choose the parameter IL open. Then click on the Add Two Keyforms button. Now we're gonna use the Deform Path tool to shape the eyelash. Select the Deform Path tool, then select the eyelash to drop a control point. Drop control points according to the shape of the eyelash. Slide the red dot to one end of the parameter and then drag the eyelash down. Now click and drag each control point to make a closed eye shape. We're gonna do the same thing for the closed eye. Turn on the visibility of the closed eye, select it, then click on the parameter IL open and add two keyforms. Make sure that both eyes are aligned. Now you will have something like this. You can stay with this result already, but let's make it cooler by adding a transition. Let's make a transition for the closed eye first. Select the closed eye, then select the IL open parameter. Drag the red dot to the middle of the parameter. Then add a new keyform. Now we have three keyforms for the closed eye. From here, Drag the red dot to one end of the parameter, specifically where the eye is open. Then go to the inspector palette, scroll down until you see opacity. Change the opacity into zero. We're gonna do the same thing for the other eye. Select the lash, and then add a new keyform in the middle. Slide the red dot to the end where the eye is closed, then change the opacity of the lash to zero. Make further adjustments if needed.
Now let's do the eye white part. Select the eye white, and then in the parameter section, click on IL open and add two keyforms. Next, slide the red dot to the end where the eye is closed, and then adjust the shape of the eye white until it becomes one thin line. Then just use the deform path tool, then shape the eye white into the shape of a closed eye. And there you go! Apply the same steps to the other eye. And yeah, that's it. Now, if you find this quite hard for you, don't worry, I got you. We're on to the second method. Select the top lash of the eye, and then select the IL open parameter and add two keyforms. Slide the red dot to one end of the parameter, then drag the top lash downward. Next, click on the deform path tool and then drop control points on the lash. Then just shape the lash into a closed form. Now let's do the side lash. Click on the side lash and then select the IL open parameter and then add two keyforms. Slide the red dot to one end of the parameter and make adjustments for the side lash. As for the eye white, it's just the same as method one. Now you can just apply the same steps to the other eye. We're all done with the eye rigging. And now it's time to animate them. Make sure to save your model first. Once you saved your model, let's switch the mode of Live 2D. Click on the drop down arrow, then select Animation. You can see the saved model in the Project tab. Drag and drop the model file onto the timeline. The scene is automatically generated, and you can see that the model is displayed in the canvas. Now let's start animating the whole thing. In the timeline, select your model, and click on the side arrow. Now you can see a bunch of things. Live 2D parameters, Live 2D parts visibility, and placement and transparency. Expand the Live 2D parameter property group. You can see all of the parameters in your model. Let's make a starting point for the animation. Set the keys of all the parameters at frame 0 by holding Ctrl and clicking on the green area. Then forward several frames on the timeline. Now input other values by sliding the parameters. Each time you slide a parameter, a key will be recorded in the timeline. Give the animation a test by clicking the play button. 
Your model is now performing an action. But as you can see, your model disappears halfway through the loop. To fix that, it's either 1. You shorten the length of the timeline by moving the yellow bar. Or 2. Click and drag the purple bar so that your model can be displayed throughout the loop. And that's how animator mode works. If you want to export the animation, just click on file and then select export image slash movie. You can see a dialogue has appeared. Change the settings according to your liking. And then click on OK. And that's it for the tutorial. If this tutorial helped you out, please leave a like. Comment down below if you have any more queries, and I'll try my best to answer them. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell on ring-a-ding-ding so that you won't miss any of my videos. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have fun and stay amazing. Bye!